shot. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing the train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chest, I'm tapping it next yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be talking about FFAR1. Disclaimer, this gun is not for beginners at all. Talking about stock, to be honest, go with any of the stock. It's your own choice, I've kept your choice and go with anyone you want because I'm going with banded study stock but if you see tactical stock, it's it's good, it's not bad. Marathon stock again, not the worst. Talking about battle, I'm going with 19.5 task force just because it has body part damage multiplier, which is really really good. Then damage range is increased by 20% and 30% bullet spread. I mean bullet speed, really good again. Downside 20% vertical recoil has been increased with horizontal being 10%. When it comes to muzzle, I normally go with monolithic suppressor, but because it's not there, I'm going with agency. The pros is it decreases vertical recoil, and downside is 8% bullet speed is decreased. But if you really have a lot of problem with the recoil, you can go with agency suppressor. You could go with eliminator, but the accuracy is decreased by 1% here. So so you could decide which one to go for. Then comes laser. As I told you in the last video, laser is must in every gun. Today we don't have OWC tactical, otherwise that's my first choice. So I'm going with aim assist laser. It's basically the same thing. Decreases ADS bullet spread by 20% and downside is visible laser sight. Then comes ammunition. I'm going with 38 round speed mag because it gives you 13 extra bullets with 25% reload time decreased and downside is 10% area speed is increased again I'm telling you it's not for beginners it's hard to control due to its fire rate being really high and accuracy being not really low but not even high at the same time again with the perks I'm using flag jacket vulture and high alert and secondary weapon I'm using Dobra with the Kimbo attachment one of the best secondary weapon in my opinion either go for this or go for elkar elkar again is a bit hard to use so dobra is really good with especially with fire rate being the best or maybe second best after finning i don't really know but it's a great secondary weapon so thank you for watching bye